Hello wonderful family, another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. I was just thinking a couple of minutes back <clears throat> and I realized that this is um, something that happens to a lot of us in Christendom, a lot of us Christian folk. Occasionally we let slip and uh, start reasoning with logic, we start reasoning concerning the word of God. And we fall into this trap of wanting to see to believe that when we see we now say yes it's done and then we can now start giving praise and thanks to God and if we've not seen somehow in our subconscious we say it's not done that's the wrong premise the Bible makes us to understand that we should believe that he that believeth hath we should believe first, then the having will come. Typically, if you look at um, Mark eleven twenty three, the premise was starting way up from verse 12, where Jesus cursed that fig tree. There was no sign at all that, the fig, that anything had happened to the fig tree, but he moved on, not staying there to examine. He believed that what he said would come to pass. He believed it. Now, he said in verse 23, says, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. You say it. And shall believe in his heart. Uh, shall, sorry. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe. What does believe entail? It means that you've not seen it. But inside of you, there is a knowing that it is done. A knowing that it is done without any evidence. You are just going on the strength of what has been said. The strength of what has been told to you. Somebody has told you that if you do this, it will happen. And because you believe the person, you go ahead and do it. You've not seen the evidence that it has happened. You just go ahead and do it. Now, you believe you've received. He says, and you shall have. You shall have whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Then 24 says, Therefore, I say unto you, what is it therefore? I say unto you, what things soever you desire when you pray. So the given is that when, when there's a desire, you pray to God about it. And then when you pray, as you pray, believe. So at the point when you've made your prayer to God, believe. Didn't say check, see. No, believe that you've received it. If you've seen it, if it is manifest, you, there's no need to believe it. It's there physically, it's tangible. You can touch it, you can feel it. No, that's not what he's asking you to do. He's asking you to believe that you've received it. You've not seen it. It's not apparent. It's not there. It's not visible. Just it is something that in your spirit man's eye you see. But with your optical eyes, your physical eyes, you cannot see it. It's not there. It's not there physically, but it's there in the spirit. You've seen it. You've laid hold of it. Believe that you've received it. Then you shall have it. So... It's there in the spirit, it will develop in the physical. As long as you believe it, your belief is that which develops it, which causes it to become manifest here. But if you don't believe it, it won't be manifest here. That the developer, in those days when we used to develop um, films after snapping pictures, not this digital age now, the days of. Uh, Photography, chemical photography. There was a developer that was added to the to to the film to cause the image that was captured in the film to become visible. Your faith is that developer, is that chemical, quote and unquote, that overlays into the spirit realm to cause it to become visible in the phys in the in the physical realm. It is not visible. Ab initio, 
But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's in existence. But for it to become visible here, tangible here, your faith has to be involved. What is your faith? Your belief. You believe that what God has said. And you believe, based on what God has said, that when you pray, He gave it to you. That it, it now exists. So if it exists, nobody should be able to shake you away from it. You're just waiting for it to become manifest. You can, your belief actually draws it here faster. You, you, you tell it, come here. Here, I need to see you here now. You are there. Come here. So let us not be caught in this trap that if we've not seen it, it doesn't exist. That's not true. It exists. In the instant you ask God for it, it became. And that is, and as when you ask God for it, you ask Him for that's one is assuming that you ask according to His word. You're asking for things in keeping with His word, not things that flout His word. But if it's in keeping with His word, it exists. God bless you. Hallelujah.